السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين In this episode of Dealing with Difficulty, we want to look at the recitation of the Qur'an. Many people find it so hard because not everyone is on the same level. You and I know that some are born Muslim while others reverted to Islam later on or some might not have taken their religion or the Qur'an seriously until later on in their lives. The fortunate few who perhaps had their parents teach them or get someone to teach them at a young age the exact pronunciation of the letters of the Arabic alphabet and how to connect them and how to connect the words, the intonation, the tunes, what is right and wrong in terms of the recitation of the Quran. Those who learnt it from a very young age at times find it much easier to recite the Quran. Nonetheless, each one of us should continue to improve on the recitation because no matter who you are, you will always find that there is room for improvement when it comes to the recitation of the Quran. Even the top reciters of the world, as they read and recite, sometimes there may be a place or two where they could improve. And there is. Nonetheless, we want to encourage those who are finding it very difficult to connect with the recital of the Quran because they are slow and they don't know. They're just learning the letters. It's so hard to put these letters together to check what's going on. All of this Allah knows about. Allah knows that you are not a professional and he wants to encourage you. How Allah helps you to deal with the difficulty regarding reciting the Quran is he tells you that those who are reciters and they flow and they know the recitation uh, al-mahir bil quran the one who's an expert in the reciting of the quran they have a very high rank that's what allah says ma'asafaratil kiramil barara they are with the honored those who are honored by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he says the one who recites the quran and has what is known as a ta'ta'a a ta'ta'a is a person who stutters a little bit or one who's finding it very difficult. They keep repeating these words and they cannot connect it so quickly and easily. And they're finding it very hard, taking so long. You know, one person might have finished the recitation of the whole portion or juz of the Quran in 10 minutes. And here we are in 10 minutes on the first two verses that we've picked up. Allah says, such a person has double the reward. Did you know that? SubhanAllah. Amazing. They have double the reward, a reward for the recital and another one for trying, although it was difficult. So to try and do something and you do it, mashallah, you get a reward for both. But when you know it's difficult and you're trying, you get a double reward. And if that is in the month of Ramadan, the rewards are multiplied tenfold, hundredfold, seven hundredfold and beyond, depending on your intention and also depending on the struggle. Allah takes into consideration the struggle. So your reward at times is more than the one who's a beautiful reciter because he just flowed straight through it. Yes, he will achieve a full reward. When you read, you achieve a full reward. But Allah knows because it was hard, shaitan can come to you and make you try to give up. Allah says, we give you a bonus reward, double. And like I said, in the month of Ramadan, good deeds are multiplied. So what should you do? Number one, make sure that you listen very carefully to those who are top reciters and make sure that you try to imitate. Make sure you learn, set aside the time to learn in the proper way how to pronounce the Arabic letters, how to connect them, where to pull, where not to pull, where to jump on a letter, where to slice the letter. You need to know these. And slowly but surely, as you learn and you put into practice and you listen and you repeat, you will become an expert by the will of Allah. It is a process, but it is so rewarding. And when I say repeat, repetition is something that Allah has ordained. Surah Al-Fatiha, we're also good at it. Many of us still need to improve the pronunciation, the connection of the letters, the tajweed, as we call it, the way the letters are pronounced and connected. And recited. 
Many of us still need to improve that, but we enjoy reading it because we understand it and we also repeat it so often. Allah calls it Mathani, Sab'am min al Mathani. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَاكَ سَبْعًا مِنَ الْمَثَانِ And we've given you seven from the repeated verses. According to the majority of the scholars of tafsir, that is Surah Al-Fatiha. But Allah calls the entire Qur'an also Mathani. اللَّهُ نَزَّلَ أَحْسَنَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابًا مُتَشَابِهًا مَثَانِ Allah says He has revealed the best of speeches. A book that has similar verses. You know, there are similar verses repeated for different reasons, highlighting a different point. So Allah says similar verses repeated often. Subhanallah. Allah wants you to repeat the recitation and Allah has also repeated certain things. So this is something amazing that Allah calls it that which is repeated often. He wants you to repeat it, right? On top of that, when you repeat it, you become an expert. I remember when I was young, my father taught me how to pronounce the letters, how to connect them, which ones to slice, which ones to jump on, which ones to add a nasal sound in, which ones never to put a nasal sound in, how much to pull, which letters to pull, and so on. And I found it quite difficult initially. I was a young boy wanting to play, going out and so on. My father kept pushing me. And he made sure I repeated the page reciting, looking in, 21, 23, 25 times in the 20s, no fixed number, but he would decide on, a on any day, you need to read this 21 times before you can leave. And he would make sure I read it. Sometimes I cried because I found it a little bit difficult, but I have no regrets. Today, when I recite the Quran, I pray for my father, who was so, so instrumental in getting me to where I am. So sometimes if your parents push you, to learning the Quran, it's not a bad thing. You might not like it right now, but you will never regret it as you grow older. Some parents regret that they didn't teach their children or they themselves didn't take an interest in the earlier years. It's not too late. You can still learn by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the repetition helps and listening, not being offended when you're corrected really helps you. It will really help you. And it's tough. Don't be shy or ashamed to repeat a verse when you're corrected again and again. I remember sitting at the feet of one of the top reciters of our time, Sheikh Ali al hudayfi Hafizahullah. And in Surah Al-Fatiha, he stopped me so many times and corrected this and that. It was amazing. This was many years ago. Today, I don't regret at all. And I learned later on and I continued with it. And now I'm reaching out to those who are struggling with recitation, that difficulty, how to deal with it. Have hope in the mercy of Allah. Don't be lazy, be dedicated. Set aside a time on a daily basis. Set aside a time on a daily basis to connect with the Quran, to improve your recitation, to actually uh, learn something new. Maybe join a class, be it online or in person in order to check your recital or improve it. And don't be lazy because laziness will destroy us. I want to add another quick point, And that is your duty towards the Quran is not only the recitation. There are some who've memorized it. Try to memorize. The memorization of the Quran is very easy. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِن مُدَّكِرِ more than once in the Quran, Allah says, we have made this Quran easy to memorize. Is anyone from amongst you going to memorize it? Like he's encouraging you. And it also means we've made it easy to understand. Is anyone from amongst you going to attempt to understand this Quran? Try to understand the verses you read. It is a duty that you have towards the Quran over and above perfecting your recital. You must make sure you try to understand it. You must make sure you put it into practice. You must make sure you try to teach it to others so that the circle is completed. May Allah Almighty grant us the highest ranks. And those struggling, I hope these few words can help you deal with the difficulty of reciting the Quran. Enjoy listening to others a lot. And inshallah, your doors will be opened. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.